In the world of toys, LEGO is a well-known brand that brings back nostalgic memories of building and creating as a child. But did you know that before it became a household name, the first LEGO set was introduced nearly a century ago? Millions of children and adults have enjoyed LEGO for generations. But have you ever wondered where it all started? What was the first LEGO set like and how has it evolved? In this video, we'll take a look at the brief history of LEGO. From its humble beginnings in 1932 as a wooden toy company to its current status as a cultural icon, we'll take a trip down memory lane to discover the history, innovation, and cultural significance of the first LEGO set and its role in shaping the world of toys. Let's get started! When most people think of LEGO, they think of the colorful plastic bricks that can be used to build just about anything imaginable. But did you know that the first LEGO brick was actually made of wood? The origins of LEGO can be traced back to 1932, when Danish carpenter Old Kirk Christensen started making wooden toys in his workshop. He named his company LEGO, which is derived from Danish words meaning play well. Over the next few years, after experimenting with plastic, he built his first plastic interlocking brick playset in 1949. The first plastic set was called Automatic Binding Bricks, and although it was not perfect, its creation marked a turning point in the development of LEGO. LEGO continued to refine and expand its product line until it evolved into the LEGO we know today. In 1955, the LEGO system in play was introduced as a new type of construction toy. It consisted of interlocking plastic bricks that could be used to create different structures and objects, and it quickly became popular with children and families. Let's take a look at the very first LEGO set. With the introduction of the LEGO system, LEGO opened up a whole new world of creative play and learning for children. The LEGO Town Plan was the first theme introduced under the LEGO system and was designed to create a realistic urban environment. And finally, in 1956, the very first LEGO set was born, the LEGO System 236 Garage with Automatic Door. This was the first set introduced under the LEGO system. It was considered revolutionary for its time, combining the fun of building and playing with a classic car garage. With its base plate that can spring the garage door open and close, this set offers a lot of interactivity in addition to being a fun and buildable toy. Following the garage with automatic door, several LEGO system sets were introduced soon after, namely, the LEGO Small House set, LEGO Small Store set, LEGO Fire Station, LEGO Church, and the LEGO ASO Filling Station. These sets were made so that LEGO builders could expand their town. After the introduction of the LEGO Town Plan theme and several sets under it, LEGO also included several ranges of accessories for the first time, such as doors, windows, trees, and bushes. The first LEGO accessories were designed to add more realism and detail to the building sets. They also expanded the creative possibilities of the sets and captured the imagination of LEGO enthusiasts around the world. And after another while, LEGO introduced the first licensed set ever, the LEGO System VW Auto Showroom. It was a tribute to the iconic car showroom that opened in Frankfurt, Germany in 1957. Three years later, in the 1960s, the Danish company introduced LEGO wheels. Before the introduction of wheels, LEGO models were limited to stationary structures and buildings, but with the addition of wheels, builders could create vehicles and other moving objects. The first LEGO Wheels model was the LEGO System Small Wheels with Axles. They were small, round pieces that could be attached to axles and were made of the same high-quality, durable plastic as the rest of the LEGO system. The introduction of LEGO Wheels was an important step in the evolution of the LEGO toy system. So, LEGO sets have come a long way since the introduction of the first LEGO set in 1956. What started out as a simple set of wooden blocks has now grown into a world-renowned brand that offers an array of intricate and diverse sets for all ages. Here's how LEGO sets have changed over the years. The period from the 1960s to the 1980s marked a major milestone in the evolution of LEGO sets and helped solidify LEGO's reputation as a versatile and innovative toy brand. This era saw the introduction of the first LEGO theme and the first LEGO minifigure. The first LEGO theme was LEGO Space. Several themes were added after that, such as Castle and Town. The first minifigure was the LEGO Policeman minifigure from the LEGO Town Police car set. In the 1960s to 1980s, the first LEGO train was also created, the LEGO Basic Building Set with Train. Surprisingly, it was also one of the first LEGO sets with complete elements. 
It consisted of an engine, a truck, a wagon, a railroad track, four buildings, a policeman, and two trucks. Moving on to the 1990s to 2000s, we can see that LEGO sets underwent a major transformation. The company began incorporating electronic components into its sets, such as lights, motors, and sensors, which allowed for more advanced and interactive building experiences. The first LEGO Star Wars set was the LEGO Star Wars 7140 X-Wing Fighter, released in 1999, while the LEGO Harry Potter 4701 Sorting Hat is the first Harry Potter set and was released in 2001. In the 21st century, LEGO continues to evolve and expand its product line. It has acquired more licenses for various popular movies and created sets for them, such as LEGO Batman and LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Various LEGO sets from Disney movies were created as well. LEGO also started to acquire licenses for popular video games and created more sets like the LEGO Minecraft and LEGO The Simpsons. And in 2014, the LEGO Movie was released, which was a commercial success, leading to a spin-off sequel, The LEGO Batman Movie. In 2017, the first television show featuring LEGO was released. It was called LEGO Masters, which is aired in various countries such as the United States, Germany, and Australia. So there you have it. The story of the first LEGO set and how LEGO has evolved over the years. From the basic bricks of the 1940s to the intricate sets of today, LEGO has come a long way. Thank you for joining us on this journey through LEGO's history. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. See you next time!